FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard, who was there last night. Welcome, Chris. Good morning. Good morning. Great you... atmosphere last oh. night. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Kerr? I think he's right on the money. Let's not make Steve Kerr say something he didn't. He didn't say Kobe is closer to Jordan in rank as far as he's the second best player in the world and LeBron's not. He said his game, his style of play, and it was. His game was a facsimile of Michael Jordan's. I don't mean that I in use any... I use carbon copy. <laughs> well, see, yeah, yeah. I don't, even, I don't mean that in any disrespectful way because everybody's taken from guys' games. And I wouldn't say carbon copy because Kobe just... He wasn't quite as good as Michael. What about? Okay. But the game was a what about, what about it, it the copy. Hanging out. What about the? What he, about the what way about the he talked? Lead? He mimicked the walk. It. Yeah. The, the the I mean the style, the grace, the footwork, as per said, the fadeaway jumper. So you're saying he was a poor man's Jordan? Is that what? No, you're no, no, no. He wasn't, just, yes, he wasn't a poor man. Yes, you. He wasn't a poor man. I'm not. I take. Well, I say one thing, and then he just tried to just mess it. <laughs> he he muck it up. He tried to, oh, you, oh, he said Kobe was a no, poor. No. I'm just giving you the truth. Go ahead. All the way even to mm -hmm. only winning championships with Phil Jackson. They Neither one of them, as great as they are, ever won it without Phil Jackson. I actually think that's an advantage they have over LeBron. He never played for that iconic coach. Oh, really? I yeah. think he'd have, I think LeBron would have more oh. rings oh. if he had had a Phil Jackson, oh. a Greg Popovich, a Pat Riley. Yeah, I hadn't heard that excuse oh. made. It's not, oh. not an excuse. I'm just, <laughs> That's a new one. I'm just pointing wow. it out. Huh. I, a coach that could just, like, like, Phil made Jordan mm -hmm. play in the triangle. He didn't want to, but he made, he got him to do it, and it helped him win. Same with Kobe. Got him to do it, helped him win. We know what Popovich does, Pat Riley. So, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think Kerr was right on the money. There's no mm. ifs, ands, or buts about mm. it. LeBron's game isn't anything like that's, Jordan's. That's it. Mm. But you know the problem that I have, Chris, is that Kobe and Michael have this copyright on greatness, that this is the only way you can be great in the NBA mm. if you score 30 points a night and you hit the last second shot. Yep. Ma I've always felt LeBron game was more closer to Magic Johnson because of his unselfishness, his unwillingness just like, you know, I, I need to score 35 yeah. points. I'll be the dog. LeBron said, okay, I'll go get 25. But I have 17 assists. Mm. I get well, 14 rebounds. And, and here's the irony. LeBron, Kobe had a much better arsenal, a, a more varied arsenal of ways to score. Yeah. But you could say LeBron's the better scorer. LeBron averaged more points per game. Kobe's 25 for his career. LeBron, 27. LeBron, far more efficient. That's not even... Ooh. That's one of the, the things you would use to go against Kobe. He never even shot 47% from the floor. No. Never shot better than 46%. And that's eight years with Shaq. Huh? He double and triple team. And I'm not trying to... If LeBron had Shaq... Tear down fine. at Kobe. I'm just saying... That's the difference with him and LeBron. What, let's, let's just say for the sake of argument, LeBron James, with his game, the way he is, he gets nine years of prime Shaq. What are we looking like? Yeah, that's, I agree. More than, far more than three. Ah, more than three? Far more than three. Mm. I think not even, one, you, even not you would two, have to admit that. Not three, not four. Mm. He would, he, in nine years with Shaq, they probably would have won five rings. Because mm. Shaq, you, you, do, I, don't know, I don't know if people know this, uh, uh, Chris, but you know this because, you, you know, you follow the game, you study the game. In those three NBA finals, Shaquille O'Neal averaged 36 points and 15 yep. rebounds. The force. For yep. three years. <laughs> that over was, three years. Over three. Because yep. one year he averaged like 37 and 16. Thir I mean, the, the lowest points he had was like 35 and 12 mm. for an NBA final game. That unheard of. Mm. LeBron ain't never had nobody like that. Mm. And that's all I'm saying, Skip. Mm. I'm not, I don't try to minimize anybody because I understand and recognize greatness when I see it. But what you try to do... LeBron if, did have Shaq for a season. You know what, <laughs> what was Shaq, 48? The, the big, <laughs> by that time, he was the big old time. He wasn't the big cactus. He wasn't the big, big Wilt Chamberleasy. Skip. <laughs> There's not a copyright on greatness. Mm. LeBron just does it a different way. Yeah. Kobe and Jordan were great in their own right. Mm -hmm. But let's not try to minimize what he's done. Because everybody, when we talk about LeBron, we go, he goes back to one year of what happened to the Mavericks. Now, he's won three championships since. Not to he, the Mavericks, to LeBron. Hold on, Skip. You, you can, and this is, again, to why Jordan is the GOAT. I could go down every great player in history, the top ten, 
And other than Jordan, and some people might even say the years before Jordan got to the finals, but other than Jordan, you can find some, some experience like that mm -hmm. with every single player. Magic not, not in 84. Like that. Magic in 84. You want to say that wasn't as bad. Ma what, what did, Magic what dribbled did, out the clock, did, the best did. point guard in history. And what did they call him? And threw a little he, tragic. But he, threw a little turn. But he didn't do it for the whole series. But he did it in the clutch moments, which is what yeah. you always focus oh, on. Oh, he did. Oh. And, and, and twice. And then had, what, he came he back, back and gave what it what like the came the back the next year. Yeah. What did he do I mean, I'm not, that? I'm just saying, Larry do Bird. Do I get to talk You get not? to talk. I want you to take it long You can you say that with every player except Jordan. So, as usual, you sweep under the carpet the second part of Steve Kerr's statement because he was saying that in mindset, LeBron has nothing to do with Michael Jordan and Kobe has everything to do. Because mindset, and I'm now quoting Steve Kerr, the assassin, the I'm going to rip your throat out. Doing what? Scoring uh -huh. the basketball. <laughs> and that's true. That's it. Who would deny that? In LeBron clutch, would even say that's with true. With the game on the line, with the money on the table, with the NBA championship trophy on the table, I want those guys with the ball in their hands. I don't want LeBron James because too often I've seen him either run from the free throw line or make the right play to Kyle Korver in the corner. <laughs> it's just the biggest bunch of baloney I've does ever Kerr heard of. Does Kerr say that in there? No, he does not say that. I'm <laughs> saying that. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I take nothing away from LeBron. Yes, LeBron is a better all-around basketball player than these other two all-time greats, and one of them is the all-time great test. But LeBron is a better passer than Michael or Kobe. He just is. Not that they couldn't pass. And I believe Kobe Bryant especially, both of them, if they had said, to, th this year I'm going to average 10 assists, I, but both were capable of averaging 10 assists. Are they built to average 10? Nope. They're built to shoot the basketball. They were both School. selfish to a fault, both of them. But in this case, LeBron's a better rebounder than the, the other two. He's just bigger than the other yeah. two. So he has much more triple-double capability than the other two. I give you all that. LeBron's all-time great. But we're talking about killer will. We're talking about Mamba mentality. We're talking about Michael Jordan, the all-time ultimate assassin. And second only to Michael Jordan was Magic Johnson in a very different package because he's got one of the greatest smiles in the history of sports. But you want to talk about an assassin? I'll take Magic Johnson as one also. There's something in those guys where they are going to refute. And I get it. He was Tragic Johnson that one year. He lost to Larry Bird, and he came right back, and he got revenge on Larry Bird. And those are some of the greatest finals I ever observed because I attended all of those finals. But in the end, I, I look at what LeBron did, the, the ultimate superstar meltdown against the Mavericks, and then let's just look at recent times. How about that first time around against Golden State? How about game four in his house? It's you, you're up two to one on Golden State before they were Golden State. They didn't know who they were. Yeah, they did. They're looking for an identity. <laughs> they they did not. Games. They did not. They had no they idea. Six Steph games. Curry is struggling with Della Vadova. And what happens? Go look. Go look at what happened. Go tell me what happened. I was on television. It, it, uh, what happened was Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love no, got out hurt. of the series. Okay, he was he going had to them. war he had with them. role players. If you're that guy, if you're Michael Jordan, if I could He's take Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan in his prime and put him in that moment, Michael would say, "Get out of my way." Michael I'm would, win this but game. nobody else would. Right? But Even Kobe. Kobe about, couldn't what, do why, that. Why didn't he say that against the Big Three Celtics? That's, that's what I'm saying. Why well, did he okay. say it against the bad boy okay. Pistons? Well, exactly. How about this? How about just last year, game three in his palace in Cleveland? We were there. And what happened? You have a chance to turn it into a series, right? Skip and you've got the ball. The, you've got the ball in your hands <laughs> with a minute and a half left, and you're up four in your house. How can you not close? What do you think Kobe would have done at that moment? What do you think Michael would have done? Well, I'm betting on them. Kobe I'm not betting on LeBron. When did Kobe do that in the finals? I mean, he just pointed out the Pistons, and you had Shaq there. LeBron used to demolish those same Pistons. Oh, 48 points, 29 out of 30. Yeah. 25 straight game? against Tayshaun Prince. Kobe didn't destroy Tayshaun Prince like that. Okay, but you know what's happening between Shaq and Kobe? What they got to do? They, they were at war. I was covering that series. They got to a point where they just had they, to make I up. I know. I know. But because they, they were trying to salvage the series. I know. But it was just <laughs> terrible. It was was at the all time letdown, underachievement. But what? that's part of uh, that's part of it too. If LeBron had been in that situation, would he and Shaq have had that type no, of beef? No, no. That's part of okay, it. Okay, I'll give you that. 
But that doesn't, if you take him out of that situation just in and of himself, is LeBron James an assassin? Does he yes. have a killer will? No. Yes. I, no. You know it not. I, I know wouldn't it. say like Kobe and Mike. Scoring. But here's the thing. That's like saying George Foreman was better than Muhammad Ali because How Foreman would go it? knock you out and try to kill you. But who was better? You can have a killer instinct and think you're you know better that's, that's and think you're going to make it. That's but why that Michael you Jordan are. would have destroyed LeBron in one on one just the way Ali tricked and talked George Foreman out of what he was doing. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Yeah. When you rope doped him? That's what Michael would do to LeBron in one-on-one. -on -one. He would just talk him into oblivion. Now, you, weren't you saying Jordan could still beat LeBron? No, I didn't you said that. a few years ago. <laughs> no, yeah, at 50. Not, no, no, <laughs> no. Smokes too many cigars. No. And we know uh, Kobe Bryant. We know what happened in game four against the Celtics. They were up 24. The Lakers, Kobe, game four at Staples. They were up 24 and lost. Mm -hmm. In game six, okay. biggest finals deficit, 39 points. 131 to 92. Remember it like yesterday. Who do you want and, with the and, ball in his hand at the end of a game? With LeBron, the game on the line. You LeBron, do not want LeBron. LeBron you want Kobe. It's LeBron close. has the Their capability of getting mad. Similar. Mad LeBron is the best is the best LeBron. But Jordan and Kobe that. had that every night. But, yeah. LeBron but, doesn't but have that. LeBron not mad is better than mad Kobe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.